Welcome back to Monroe's Con. We back with another reaction. All right, so today uh, we got NBA legends who were t NBA legends who were terrified of Michael Jordan. All right, so this coming fresh off of that uh, Michael Jordan LeBron uh, goat video I did. All right, um, y'all, yeah, yeah, pretty much everybody had Jordan. You know what I'm saying? The statistics had it. You know, so. I got to live through the Jordan era. I got to watch, you know, Jordan in his prime. Like, these kids now, they just get to see highlights, man. It wasn't nothing like witnessing that, you know? Uh, so, yeah, we're going to get into this video, man. Shout out to Young Gollum, uh, YG, on, on, that, be, that put together this uh, dope video right here. Um, looks like he has a lot of these, so I might go down uh, the rabbit hole of what he put together. All right, so let's check this out. NBA legends who were terrified of Michael Jordan. Hey man, it's your boy YG aka Yangala, and we know that Michael Jordan was so good that he Ooh. put fear in his opponents. And you've probably seen so many videos of crazy trash talking stories about Michael Jordan. But so I always wonder what was the first moment that made NBA legends fear him? Or what key factors made him so fearful? So I decided to make a video of NBA legends who were terrified of Michael Jordan. So let's get straight into the vid, man. Yeah, I mean, he, exactly. He just had this charisma on top of all the yeah. gifts and skills and, and mentally you know how great he is Ooh. i mean playing great against time. him the one thing that i think that he was unlike any other player i've ever played against is that it, there was a real fear playing against mm. him like like people i've never seen like the league be kind of fearful of a player or have that much reverence for a player no matter who you who you know has come since then you know that was a different feeling when you're playing mike because you just knew you know, like there was there was such a seriousness and competitiveness and fire in him. And, you know, there was a fear with how that was going to manifest itself potentially on any given night. So he was he was I mean, wh where do you want to start and where do you want to finish with him? He, he, he was he was everything. Look at that. Big Back in 1993, his first trip to Chicago. That's from Steve Nash, man. It was a real fear playing against him. Chicago and that's a oh, charge. Oh, that's barbecue chicken. <laughs> 29 and 24. Oh, that's that's a big for number. Shaq, 64 for MJ. Six, he got 64. Ooh, 60, yeah, 64 what? Four, 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 like four. combined with rebounds, points. No. 64 points. And you know what? Since the statute of limitations. Is and up. Orlando won the game in overtime. What? The statute of limitations up. I was terrified out there. Were you really? Yeah. You was Kelly MJ? Wow. Yeah. You gave for him how 20? long? This is Shaq, the most dominant player. <laughs> like when you talk about dominance, when you talk about dominance, boy, you you got to talk Shaq. He changed. He came through, changed rules too. Had a whole Shaq, hack a Shaq, a whole hack a Shaq thing was created to, just to stop him. They will send people in the game to hack him, to 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 send them to the foul line. Because he, you know, he was terrible at free throws. But that was the only way they could stop him was to foul him. Because if he got the ball in the paint, it's a wrap. And you can't stop him when he's so big, you can't stop him from getting to the paint. And this, and this, this guy, he is saying he was terrified of Jordan. For how long? Right when you, were you really? I know won the game in overtime. What? The statute of limitations up. I was terrified out there. Were you really? Yeah. You was Kelly MJ? Yeah. You gave For him how 20? long? For how long? Right when you took the floor? Oh, or? the whole game. Wow. Because one, he's the greatest player. Two, I was worried about him dunking on me and I have to go back <laughs> and, you know, oh, face yeah, the yeah. fellas. And yeah. then three, he was just so hot. I was like, man, this dude, like, the stuff that I saw when I was in college on TV, it's, it's like really real. I was terrified. <laughs> I mean, but, you know, when I got the ball, and saw those bums they had playing me, you know, I was going to go to work. Bums. Bums. They NBA Come on, players, brother. Bums. Come on. You hear what I said? NBA so, players. But anyway, like, just watching them out there, I was terrified. The experience was totally wow. different than these guys because I was a, you know, late second-round pick. I didn't know if I was going to make the league. I was on a non-guaranteed contract. And I'll never forget okay. one of my first exhibition games we played <clears> the Bulls. And I was just trying to make the roster. And Michael Jordan <clears> gets the ball right in front of our bench. And I'm already scared to death. Like, God, I hope I don't get into this game. I'm, I'm not ready for this stuff. And he holds the ball out. 
He holds the ball out and he looks right at me. And I'm on the bench, just kind of like, he holds the ball and he goes, watch this. And he turns, he went right around Dan Marley, bam, dunks it, looks back at our bench and just starts laughing. And I'm looking like, wow. there's no way in hell I can ever make money. <laughs> now I really don't want to. I thought, I, thought he looked, wow. I thought he looked at you and said, 10 years from now, I'm going to throw this to yeah, you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> nah, and crazy. he had the fifth passing lane. And what I mean by the fifth passing lane, Oh, I, I, I mean, we was just all scared of Jordan. So, I mean, that ain't, that, you know, when you when you show me against him, yeah, I get a little hot. But I couldn't stop Jordan. I mean, you know, I'm, I'm looking at the highlights of Jordan. And, you know, every single time we double team Jordan down court, mm -hmm. but he still averaged his, his regular season average against the Piston was 37.5. Good grief. Dang. And then some nights he would get hot, Q. His average against the team is 37.5. His average, he he was almost dropping 40 on his average against the Pistons. The Detroit bad boys. The bad boys. Y'all know. I'm going to tell you what it was like playing. Uh, I can't tell you, but from, from what I saw. Playing the Detroit Pistons was like playing a football team. They coming to take you out. They taking you out. So they, the people who intimidate people, the team that intimidate people was intimidated by joy. I mean, I mean this is captain of the team, Isaiah Thomas. Zeke. <laughs> but Mike is a whole different thing so I had to guard them both and it's it's not even like Mike I, I, let me go to sleep tonight let me chill yep. let me rest the next yes. day let me stay focused yes. let me eat the right things yeah. Kobe not saying that you had to switch it up but I didn't have that fear Yeah, you know mm -hmm. Mike would, would, would have you know you better so Mike just had that killing instinct man he just got that killer, man. Better bring your gang. Mm -hmm. I can you go and Mike in his prime. Like, oh, yeah, Mike in his prime. We went at him toe to toe, head to head. Mike I know. Yeah, you. of course. Mike was like, man, you never back down. You're strong. <laughs> yeah. The cops, I love you. Yeah. God, he put me in his all star games. Him and Mike love me, you know, as far That's as my way I used to come. But Mike is the best player in the world ever. LeBron, Kobe, ever. nobody can fade. Ever. Nobody yeah. Nobody can. In Orlando first. And. I'm blocking his shot. Like, I'm locking him up. Like, oh, I'm, oh. I'm, I'm doing my thing again. I blocked his shot like three or four times. Oh. Like, I'm having my way against him defensively. Now, granted, he's 40 years old, but uh, I'm feeling good about myself. So, uh, fast forward a month later, we're in D.C. Uh, my ankle, we, we go to a doctor in Baltimore, and basically he tells me I'm done. Like, my ankle's, you know, once again, it's, it's not healed. It's broken. I have to have surgery. But I wanted to play against Jordan one last time. And so yeah. we're playing the Wizards. It's a TNT game. Wait, Thursday don't you want to go out where you dominate him yeah, and you're blocking I mean, his well, shots? I'm just thinking, you know, my ego. Like, oh, I'm thinking, like, okay. I had him the last game. Yeah. I, I don't need this left <laughs> ankle. Just give me some, like, give me some. I only uh, need one uh, ankle. Give me yeah. a bunch of Motrons okay. out bad. here. That is, that, 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 is a, that is a very, very bad mistake right there. Because we all know from uh, uh, that, that documentary, uh, The Last Dance. Jordan takes everything personal. So you blocking his shots, getting the best of him. Oh, he was waiting to see you again. He was waiting to see you again. You should have just retired. And <laughs> when I tell you, he torched me in that first quarter. Like, literally, he gave me 20 points in the first quarter. Damn! The same play. Like, he just ran the same play every time and did this, like, you know, and I could not guard him. And so, literally, I, I checked out of the game at the end of the first quarter. And I didn't even go to the bed. I just walked back to the locker room. Like, I was done. Like, literally had surgery, like, a couple days later. But it was like, I wanted to guard Jordan one last time. And you're right, I shouldn't have. I should have just let that and go. He did he know you were in the anymore. first he quarter. He went at me every And he and didn't the care. the same move. Like, it wasn't, he didn't do anything different. It was the same move. And I had nothing for him. Jordan probably had your x-rays in the locker room. He probably did. He probably yeah. knew exactly. I'm surprised he didn't send somebody for me to come back out. <laughs> Yeah. People were afraid of him. We were his teammates and we were afraid of him. And there was just fear. That's what I want to throw it to you. I just threw it to you. Ignore this guy. He's gone through, but he's overplayed. He's the fear factor. Yeah, look it to you. Ignore this guy. He's gone through. You 
can't tell me that ain't the look of a killer right there. Look how he look at. It's hunting season. The fear factor of, of MJ was so, so thick. Yeah, let's not get it wrong. He was an He was a jerk. He crossed the line numerous times. But as time goes on and you think back about what he was actually trying to accomplish, you're like, yeah, he was a hell of a teammate. He was pushing us all to be better because he wanted to win. When I was a rookie, my first, very first game playing against Michael Jordan. I bet it was so nerve-wracking being his teammate because of the standards that he holds you to, because of the standards that he holds himself to. In the Bulls. Mm. Oh. And we had a guy very first game playing against Michael Jordan and the Bulls. Mm. Oh. And mm. we had a guy named Greg Minor guarding mm -hmm. him. And, you know, it was a little dust up. Greg's playing hard. He's playing, you know, of course, you got to play as hard as you can as MJ. Right. Yeah. It's open at night. My mom at home watching, the kids is watching, everybody watching. <laughs> so they got in a little scuffle. <laughs> MJ's going to the free throw line. And he looks at Greg and he says, I should make you take my shoes off. <laughs> I look down, I ain't even realize it. I look down and he got the Jordans on. So. Oh, damn. <laughs> that is hilarious. Oh, that is grade A trash talk right there. I should make you take my shoes off. And you look down, he got on the Jordans. You can't go out Jordan in the Jordans, dog. You just can't, man. You can't guard Jordan in the Jordans. Yes. I should make you take my shoes off. <laughs> I look down, I ain't even realize it. I look down and he got the Jordans on. <laughs> so I said, oh man, oh. this is my first game ever. I said, this is this is what I got to look forward to. You learned a valuable lesson though, right? Well, obviously I didn't say much to MJ the rest of the night. That's <laughs> right. I didn't want to be on that reel. So that was my welcome to the league. Trash moment, talking even though it wasn't too me, thank goodness. You. We lost game one because we were so nervous. But in game two, I played as well as I could play. Clean from the outside. Barkley. Barkley. Barkley was such a beast. And Michael just outplayed me. That was probably the first time in my life that I felt like there was a better basketball player in the world than me, to be honest with you. We were wow. playing the Chicago Bulls, and this is Michael Jordan's third or fourth year in. Okay. And we were playing an ex exhibition game in some obscure place. And most veterans do not like to play in exhibition games. They want to get to the real thing. I'm a wide-eyed, energetic rookie, and we're playing this exhibition game, and Michael's going through the motion. And Chuck Person, who's on my team, who's a trash talker as well, is like, can you believe Michael Jordan, the guy everyone's talking about, who's supposed to be able to walk on water, you're out here killing him, Reg. This is in the first half. He's <laughs> like, you should be talking to him. He's like, you know, you're right. Michael, who do you think you oh, are? Man. The great Michael Jordan? That's right. There's a new kid on town, right? He took it personal. Kind of looks at me and starts shaking his head. So at half, I have 10, and he has four points, right? And I'm doing all this talking. He's like, OK. End of the, end of the game in the second half, he ended up with 44, <laughs> and I ended up with 12. <laughs> <laughs> so he outscored me 40 to 2. Oh, wow. And as he's walking off, he's like, be sure and be careful. You never talk to black Jesus like that. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> OK, I'm, I'm, so so <laughs> I'm so sorry, black Jesus. I'm so we got Chicago Bulls coming in. Reggie, Reggie and Joy had, I, I, I used to love watching Reggie and Joy and go at it, man. Town, <clears throat> and unfortunately. Oh, sorry, Black Jesus. <laughs> so we got Chicago Bulls coming in town, <clears throat> and unfortunately, uh, I got a sprained ankle. 
you know. Ooh. And so, did you say fortunately? You unfortunately. Do? Oh, okay. Unfortunately, I, I enjoyed Burn guarding Mike because he was, you know, the one thing Woo. I did with Mike is I never got him pissed off. You know, like, <laughs> <laughs> he make a shot, you say, "Good shot, Mike." You know, you don't talk trash to him no, so no. he can go off for sixty. You know, you can try to kill him with kindness. Yeah. You don't try to talk trash to him. So they're getting off the bus. We're done with shoot around, and we're walking out. And MJ says, "B Scott, what's going on?" I said, "What's up, MJ?" He said, "Man, I, I hear that you're not playing tonight." I said, "No, I'll spring my ankle." He said, "Who's guarding me?" I said, "Anthony Peeler." He's oh, 50. <laughs> 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 so I told Anthony Peeler, "Listen, um, MJ, uh, he's probably gonna go for about 50 tonight on you. So just <laughs> don't don't piss him off. You know, just be cool." He en he ended up with 54. <laughs> He was everything. I actually told this story to uh, Chris Middleton. My rookie year, I'm guarding him. And I, I can just, you know, my heart's about to come out of my chest. And I'm just praying that, that he just shoots a fadeaway jump shot. But he decided to go baseline. And when he went to jump, all I could think about, this cannot be a highlight. And uh, he just did like a little reverse layup. And as he came down and started running back, he just looked back and winked at me. <laughs> and... Uh, <laughs> I, I thought, oh man, this could this could be a long night. So guys, I hope you enjoyed the video and tell me yeah. what is your favorite Michael Jordan moment. So make sure you oh, like, share, subscribe, and show love so to the YG man. gang. And I'm out. Yeah, make sure y'all uh I got the link in the description for the uh video. You know, support YG channel, man. Uh that was that was dope, man. That was dope. It's hey. It's levels to this, you know? It's levels to this. It's just levels to it, man. Like, these people, these are certified legends talking about they was terrified. They was scared. They feared Jordan. They walking on eggshells around because they don't want to piss him off and he go for 60. That's the greatness of Michael Jordan, y'all. That's the greatness of Michael Jordan. Hey, request more. Request more, man, and I'm going to get right to it, all right? Leave it in the comments, all right? Roll to 50K, uh, 50K by Independence Day, all right? Turn up, baby. Turn up. Like and subscribe. Peace out, baby. One love.